Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front drive or CV axle. Uh, we're going to show you the passenger side. The driver's side is a similar procedure, um, just a little different because of some of the clearance issues. Uh, but we're going to show you the passenger side. We take it in or take it out and put the old one back in because uh, this car didn't need a new one. Um, it actually needed a new hub, so we just kind of shot this video as part of that. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, 10 to 19 millimeter wrenches and sockets. You'll need a ratchet, a breaker bar, and or a pipe for some extra leverage on the ratchet if you don't have a break it, breaker bar. Some of the bolts are a little tough. You'll need a torque wrench to, re to put it back together, large hammer, 3 16 or 6 millimeter Allen wrench, and if you are going to remove the brakes, you'll also need a T47 Torx bit, a large C-clamp, and a large screwdriver or small pry bar. If you don't have the benefit of air tools, you'll want to use a 19 millimeter socket and ratchet and a breaker bar or your tire iron. Loosen the lug nuts while your car's on the ground, then lift it up and remove, lift it up, secure it, and then remove the lug nuts all the way. Also, if you're not, if you don't have impact tools, you'll want to pull off the little center cap uh, and loosen. It's either going to be a large nut or a 14 millimeter bolt. Um, you want to loosen that with the vehicle on the ground um, and held in place first. Okay, I'm going to speed it up as I remove uh, the lugs and then the wheel and tire. And I'm also going to keep it going fast through the brakes. You can remove your axles without uh, taking the brakes apart. Um, it's arguable as whether that's easy or not. Uh, the, the brakes are kind of bulky and just make it a little more difficult to get this stuff. But um, if you do want to remove your brakes, you can see how I do it here. Um, there's also a video for how to do a brake job on one of these S70s if you wanted to see it uh, taking apart the brakes in regular speed. Um, but uh, bear with it for about another 30 seconds and we'll get to the meat. Okay, here at the top, I'm going to spray the three uh, mounting nuts on the top of the strut, and um, you can you can either just loosen them up, or you can t take two of them off and leave one on. Um, you may want to just pull the strut out of the way. That, that's really the easiest way. Um, I do leave the strut in there and just work around it. Next, we're going to disconnect our stabilizer link from the strut, and then so we're going to use some penetrating oil there, and then just put some penetrating oil on the strut bolts. Okay, first I'm going to take a 17 millimeter socket, put it on here with a larger ratchet, and see if I can't break it loose. Okay, now that those are broken free. You'll find that the center stud is going to spin, so you can put an Allen wrench in there. A 3 16 or 6 millimeter Allen wrench will work. The Allen wrench holds the stud. Now you loosen it up. Okay, just speed up here as I remove that nut the rest of the way and disconnect the top of that stabilizer link. Additionally, there's an ABS harness that's attached to the strut just with a rubber grommet. You can just pull that away from its clip. These bolts for the struts are 18 millimeter. I suggest a breaker bar or a piece of pipe um, on your ratchet. Okay. 
and then speed it up here as I change over to my ratchet and a wrench um, and remove those bolts the rest of the way. Okay, now here I'm just going to remove the bolts from the strut um, and then uh, release it from the knuckle and move it out of the way. Suspension down. Push your strut around. Put your bolts in. Start these nuts on. Okay, now you want to torque these bolts to between 55 and 60 foot-pounds. And then go up on top, uh, put your other nuts on, and you want to torque them to 20 to 22 foot-pounds. Okay, once that strut's on hook, you can actually just take a, an extension, and your axle should drive out pretty easily. axles free there and now looking up from underneath where the axle goes into the transmission uh, there are two bolts on a cap they're 12 millimeter so we're gonna remove those and now you can reach in and pull uh, your axle and it slides out um, just be careful that you don't uh, hit any ABS or um, your brake line harnesses as it's coming out. Okay here, so I'm going to go over putting the axle shaft back in. You'll notice I am putting the old one back in. Uh, if you notice on this picture, there's a brand new hub on there. That's what this vehicle actually needed was the new hub. Um, so I'm just doing this video to show you how to do it. Um, didn't need a new axle shaft, so I didn't see a need to put a new one into it. So feed it back in. Okay, be careful of your brake lines and your uh, CV boots. Okay, now your um, cap goes back on. There's a larger space here that goes to the bottom. Torque these to 35 foot pounds. Okay, now feed your axle into the hull here. Again, just take care not to damage your boots at all. In. Okay. Pull your suspension down. Start these nuts on. Okay, now you want to torque these bolts to between 55 and 60 foot pounds. 
and then go up on top, uh, put your other nuts on, and you want to torque them to 20 to 22 foot-pounds. Okay, now put your stabilizer link uh, back in place and start the nut on, and then use your wrench, an Allen wrench, to tighten it up. And this part, it's not a critical suspension part. It's important, but not critical. Um, it probably does have a torque spec, uh, but I just tighten it uh, basically as tight as I can get it using the Allen wrench and the uh, combination wrench. At this point, you want to start your either center nut or bolt that holds the axle to the hub. Uh, you're not going to tighten it at this point. You're just going to start it in there. You tighten it when the vehicle's on the ground. Okay, so here again, I'm just going to kind of burn through uh, putting the brakes back together um, to fast forward. You can probably pick up enough here to put them back together if you take them apart. Um, and if you don't, you can just kind of move forward till putting the wheel on and torquing the lug nuts. You can see that the tire has, uh, the wheel has a space here, and that goes over uh, this spike. So I'm going to grab the spoke below that space, put the wheel on. Okay, just going to speed it up here as I um, put in the lugs by hand, then use my uh, impact wrench just to preliminarily tighten the lugs. Our vehicle uses the small bolt, so you tighten that to 33 foot-pounds, and then you tighten it an additional eighth of a turn. If your vehicle uses the larger nut, you want to tighten it to 89 foot-pounds, and then tighten it after that about a third of a turn. cap on, torque your lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds. If you do decide to take your brakes apart, make sure that you pump the brakes a bunch of times before you road test the vehicle do test stops for 5 and 10 miles an hour make sure everything's stopping correctly. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.